We've all been there. You're trying to access a website, you're excited to see the latest cat video, or maybe buy that thingamajig you've been eyeing, then BAM! You're hit with a message. Blocked by Cloudflare, it's like walking into a glass door you didn't see. Frustrating, incredibly. But before you hurl your laptop out the window, take a deep breath. This happens to the best of us. Let's break down why this happens, and more importantly, how to get you back to your regularly scheduled internet browsing. Cloudflare is a service that provides security and performance enhancements for websites. When you see that blocked by Cloudflare message, it means the website's security settings have flagged your request as potentially harmful. This can happen for a variety of reasons. Maybe your IP address has been flagged for suspicious activity, or perhaps the website's security settings are just a bit too strict. So, what can you do about it? First, try refreshing the page. Sometimes it's just a temporary glitch. If that doesn't work, try clearing your browser's cache and cookies. This can often resolve the issue. You can also try accessing the website from a different browser or device. Sometimes the problem is specific to the browser you're using. Another option is to use a VPN. This can change your IP address and help you bypass the block. If all else fails, consider reaching out to the website support team. They may be able to whitelist your IP address or provide further assistance. With a bit of patience and troubleshooting, you'll be back to enjoying your favorite websites in no time. Remember, the internet is a vast place and sometimes we hit a few bumps along the way. But with the right approach, you can overcome these obstacles and get back to your online adventures. So, the next time you encounter that dreaded, blocked by Cloudflare message, don't panic. Take a deep breath, follow these steps, and you'll be back online before you know it. Happy browsing. Imagine a really dedicated bouncer for a website. That's Cloudflare in a nutshell. It's a service that sits between you and the website you're trying to visit. It acts as a shield, protecting the site from malicious attacks and ensuring things run smoothly for everyone. Think of it like a security checkpoint at the airport. Cloudflare checks your digital baggage to make sure you're not carrying any harmful malware or up to any funny business. Websites, especially popular ones, are constantly under threat from hackers and other bad actors. These cyber thugs are always looking for ways to steal data, disrupt service, or just generally cause chaos. Cloudflare acts as a first line of defense, filtering out malicious traffic and keeping the website safe and sound. This allows the website owners to focus on what they do best, providing you with cat videos and thingamajigs. So how do you know if Cloudflare is the culprit behind your internet woes? It's a common scenario. You're trying to access a website and suddenly you're hit with an error message. Frustration sets in as you wonder what went wrong. Well, there are a few telltale signs that can help you determine if Cloudflare is the one blocking your access. The most obvious sign is a message explicitly stating blocked by Cloudflare. This message is clear and direct, leaving no room for doubt. Other times the message might be more generic, such as a 403 forbidden or access denied error. These messages can be confusing because they don't always mention Cloudflare directly. However, the key giveaway is usually a reference to Cloudflare somewhere in the error message or on the page. This is where you need to pay close attention. Look for terms like Cloudflare Ray ID or CF Request ID. These terms are like digital fingerprints indicating that Cloudflare is involved. These identifiers are unique to Cloudflare and can help you confirm that they are the ones holding the velvet rope, so to speak. If you're still unsure, you can always look up the error codes or messages online. There are plenty of resources and forums where people share their experiences and solutions for dealing with Cloudflare blocks. Another option is to contact the website's support team. They can provide more information about why you're being blocked and what you can do to resolve the issue. Sometimes the issue might be related to your own internet settings. Clearing your browser cache, disabling any VPNs, or adjusting your security settings can sometimes resolve the problem. With a bit of troubleshooting and patience, you can often find a way to access the website you need. Remember, understanding the signs and knowing where to look can save you a lot of time and frustration. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips. Section 5. The usual suspects, common Cloudflare block triggers. Now, let's talk about why Cloudflare might mistake you for a cyber criminal. It's not always about what you do, but sometimes about what you say or type. One common reason is submitting certain words or phrases that trigger their security filters. 
These filters are designed to catch potential threats before they can cause harm. Think about words associated with hacking like SQL injection or cross-site scripting. These terms are red flags for Cloudflare's security system. These words are often used in malicious attacks, so Cloudflare flags them to be safe. It's a precautionary measure to protect websites from potential threats. It's like trying to bring a water pistol through airport security. It might be harmless, but it's going to raise some eyebrows. Just as airport security is stringent to ensure everyone's safety, Cloudflare's security measures are in place to protect websites and their users. Another common trigger is unusual traffic patterns. If Cloudflare detects a sudden spike in traffic from a single IP address, it might assume it's a bot or a DDoS attack. This is especially true if the traffic is coming from a region known for cyber attacks. Cloudflare uses sophisticated algorithms to analyze traffic patterns and identify potential threats. Using a VPN can also trigger Cloudflare's security measures. While VPNs are great for privacy, they can make your traffic look suspicious, especially if the VPN server is in a high-risk region. If you're constantly getting blocked by Cloudflare, it might be worth checking your VPN settings or switching to a different server. Sometimes Cloudflare will present a capture challenge to verify that you're a human and not a bot. This can be frustrating, but it's an effective way to filter out automated traffic. Completing the capture proves that you're a legitimate user and you'll be granted access to the website. It's a small inconvenience for the sake of security. Understanding these common triggers can help you avoid unnecessary blocks and ensure a smoother browsing experience. Remember, Cloudflare's primary goal is to keep websites safe and secure. By being mindful of your online behavior and the words you use, you can navigate the web more safely and efficiently. Stay informed, stay secure. Section 6. Malicious Intent When Bad Actors Come Knocking Sometimes Cloudflare blocks you because you're actually exhibiting suspicious behavior even if you don't realize it. For example, rapidly clicking links or refreshing the page too many times can trigger their alarms. It's like setting off the metal detector at the airport because you forgot to take off your belt. You're not a criminal mastermind, just a little forgetful. Section 7. False Positives Sometimes it's not you, it's them, maybe. Now, before you start questioning your entire online existence, it's worth noting that Cloudflare isn't perfect. Like any good bouncer, they sometimes make mistakes. These are called false positives, meaning they've blocked you for no good reason. It's like getting flagged for a random bag check at the airport when you're just carrying your grandma's fruitcake. It's frustrating, but it happens. Section 8, Houston, we have a problem troubleshooting Cloudflare blocks. So you're blocked, what do you do? First, take a deep breath, it's not the end of the world. There are a few things you can try to resolve the issue. Start by simply waiting a few minutes and trying again. Sometimes Cloudflare blocks are temporary and the issue resolves itself. Patience, young grasshopper. Section nine, patience, young Padawan, waiting it out. If waiting doesn't work, try clearing your browser's cache and cookies. These files store website data, and sometimes outdated or corrupted files can cause conflicts. It's like cleaning out your browser's closet. A little digital housekeeping never hurt anyone. If that doesn't work, try accessing the website using a different browser or device. This helps determine if the issue is with your browser or device settings. Section 10, contacting the website a direct approach. If all else fails, it's time to contact the website directly. Look for a contact us page or email address. When you reach out, be polite and explain the situation, including any error messages you received and the Cloudflare Ray ID. Think of it like talking to the manager of the nightclub. A calm and respectful approach is more likely to get you past the velvet rope. Section 11, Conclusion Security, a necessary inconvenience. Getting blocked by Cloudflare is annoying, there's no doubt about it. But it's important to remember that these security measures are in place for a reason. They protect both you and the websites you visit from the bad guys. So the next time you encounter a Cloudflare block, don't panic.